Hey, what's up? It's Pure for Life here, and welcome to another exciting tutorial on KPHP. Um, today we're going to be learning about how to kind of uh, edit your home page, and kind of I'm going to show you some of the folder structures and how you basically make create pages in KPHP um, with the default setup. So um, I presume that you've already baked your new application, and check out this view. You like this. Oh yeah, it's downtown Los Angeles. Very nice. So first, first of all, you need to go into your applications folder, and then um, to begin with, I'll show you. Uh, what's in the index.php it just uh, requires um, web groups so this is not what this is not your home page um, so this isn't really where you should start instead if we look on here I've got an encoder I've got my application with all the folder structure in here of the application and here's index um, all your views are held which are basically um, everything that you can see within the application are in the views folder. And then here we've got elements, um, email, errors, helpers, layouts, pages, and scaffolds. So, to begin with, I'm going to go to pages. And the reason for this is that the home.ctp is held within here. Um, if we go into home, so you click on home, you'll notice all of this. Um, code here which basically is the home page at the moment which looks like this yours might have an image up here but I'm not on connected to the internet and I presume that you got everything if everything set up here that's green you're ready to go um, so we can delete all of this and start creating our own page uh, our home page now I save this and if you notice still got a sort of a layout um, actually within uh, on the screen um, the reason for this is that actually the home page doesn't contain the layout so uh, the idea is that inside um, views we've got uh, another folder called layouts and this uh, includes all the different layouts you can have so different pages and different layouts basically um, and the default one is here, so we can see within here we've got the HTML tags, your head, your body, and then um, echo content for layout, which is the content. So it would be your home.ttp um, and your other pages. Um, so we can modify this sort of stuff in here. So for instance, if we want to take out um, this link at the top. Delete it here, it's gone. I also want to take out the powered by Kate PHP. Um, we could delete this out of the footer as well here. And then here we've pretty much got a blank layout. I mean, um, the styling is a separate. Uh, I'll show you where the styles actually kept. Um, so they're actually in, uh, they're not in the views folder, they're in the web root. And then here we go CSS, Kate generic. And if you look here, echo this HTML CSS cake.generic if we were to change this to um, let's create a new style so my style spell my style and then we go within our CSS and click new uh, CSS file let's try and save this Call this my style. CSS. Save. So if we were to go to and change the body, so you have a background color of black. We have a background color of black, and obviously let's just change the text color to white. 
see it. Change it to white and then go to home. Echo out a string. Oh. There we go. So that's how you kind of. Uh, well, it's just showing you a demonstration of changing the layout and uh, the home page. Let's put a header in, shall we? Um, so, I'm going to put a h1 tag here in the title, and I'm going to write This is my awesome app. Nice. I'm also going to put a footer in. So put in H5. Cured under some copy. Right. So you see these now appear, the Hello World appears in between my awesome app and the, the header and the footer. So, let's add a little bit of style to the header and footer. So, we have a header, footer IDs, background, white, color, uh, black text. And there we are. So that shows a bit of styling. Maybe we'll put some padding in there as well. Maybe not that much. So some margin. So we go back to our default, and the, it's, uh, it's, you see the ID of content. So we make that also to have padding. It starts to look a little bit nicer, and you can play with this. Heart's content. Let's also put the margin on there. Five pixels. There we go. Okay, and that's pretty much just the, the, the basics of uh, editing the home page. And thank you very much for watching.